See how we go, eh? Just kind of thought we'd um, kind of get some of my closer mates out there first and yeah, sort of take it from there. Oh, oh yeah, well, well only, only if it's cool, but no, nah, it's cool. Yeah, no, nah, it's sweet, yeah. Right, we'll, just, we'll just keep talking. I'll hit you up. I'll hit you up. Let me know. Let me know, G. Yeah, yeah you'll be the first to know. Yeah, yeah. See you, man. All right, boys, what is going on? We have finally got the cage painted uh, after a long time of mucking around. Uh, I did film a bunch of it, but kind of got to the point where it was savagely impeding my workflow. So I was kind of like, oh, this is, this is kind of silly. Uh, if it's gonna make the process 10 times longer, then uh, I'm just gonna get on with the job and do it. Well, I guess. She's not gonna paint herself. All right, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Nice. Word of advice, if you are planning on doing this over the course of a weekend uh, and you have mates that like drinking beers, I highly suggest you get them round for a beer uh, and then hit them with a surprise and say, oh, hey, hey, bro, can you help me with this real quick? I just want to just want to mask up the car. Definitely save you some time because buy yourself a large amount of admin. I'm by no means a car painter, but we definitely did a pretty good job, I think. Um, there was a hell of a lot more masking involved than I had anticipated and it took a very long time uh, so but all in all I think it's come out pretty good and we have been taking out the sound deadening in the rear uh, I did try a free spray product as I talked about uh, the stuff here I think it's uh, suitable for slightly newer school cars uh, like Civics uh, a bunch of my friends that had tried it uh, said it worked good for them, but not in this case. It basically did nothing at all and it just sort of assisted the hammer and chisel technique, so that was alright. Uh, we got that done anyway and to be fair, I think I'm just going to leave that how it is now and put the carpet back in, which will come up to about here and that'll be close enough. And now we have been moving back on to uh, putting as much interior back in it as we can big streetcar guy so I wanted to basically make it feel like as much of a streetcar as possible while being pretty much a full-blown drift car so that's what we have been doing uh, over the course of the long weekend sort of off and on as you'll see I've got the dash back in and I got the sort of the center console items with the radio and the heater control even though there's no heater unit there anymore uh, it's just for effect that uh, it completes the interior so we did get away with putting most of that stuff in without the little brackets like I talked about um, basically these little guys here and they have them those there and that's this stuff supposed to screw to things but yeah whatever it sits in there pretty good um, it's got about one screw holding most things on but like that's not going anywhere so and it hides the clutter of all the unused loom that we won't be using so yeah I think we're about 90% done with how much interior you want to get back in it basically it's just carpet uh, which I'm going to paint black and yeah obviously a passenger seat and I think that'll pretty much be it uh, the next big job on the interior front will be trying to make the door cards work now 
I was originally going to get some old, uh, slightly tired ones, which I've actually got some in the in the project car, so I might take them out and try and cut them up. Or I was actually thinking about saying stuff it and just cut up the good ones because the best part or the main part that stuffs out on uh, these R32 door cards is the bolster, which is where your arm rests. So basically once you've got the window control in there, it's uh, pretty much mint. So I thought it would be quite a flex if you sort of cut the bars sort of in here and then down there where they need to be and basically get them fitted in. And uh, just to flex on anyone to say, yeah, look at me, check me out, I cut up my mint condition R32 uh, door cards, which everyone will know to have a whinge about, which just what I'm looking for really. So that's all good. I don't really care about them too much. Would like to keep them with this car because this thing's clearly never going to get complete door cards in it again. So I might as well just cut up the good ones that I've got and yeah, just see what I can do with it. What else have we been doing? Um, we have been doing a bit of maintenance on the engine department and we managed to get to the bottom of the misfire. You'll see the plugs here uh, as I predicted, uh, all completely fouled. So that is definitely what was causing our little uh, spluttering away issue there. I was going to take it for a proper thrash around the block but it just gets so dark now, it's like 6 o'clock after work, I just raced home, put a seat in it, put the steering wheel on and went to go for a drive and it was dark so painfully, I just in a rush trying to go for a drive, managed to uh, oh, suck in this guard yet again. This is probably the third time, I think this is the third time that I've done it and every time I've repaired it so every time I try and repair it with fiberglass I try to build it out a slightly a little bit more and I'm thinking I'm just going to do the same again because I really can't be bothered with trying to uh, yeah I basically got to buy another pair I'll put a little clip in here of uh, a little drive that I did go for it was real short I was too concerned about it's really late like it feels late everyone's probably trying to have dinner and then this thing just makes such a racket and I was more just making sure that she's running good now It was only boosting 9 psi which was seemed a little bit weird. I had the controller turned down quite a bit from the last drift day because I was trying not to run it at uh, 21 pound because it was running not the best so I was trying to limit the boost a little bit and I think because that intake manifold bolt had come loose uh, there must have been a boost leak so now back on the drift day it was boosting it said it was boosting 19 and a half and it definitely was but when I just took it for a lap then, it was only boosting nine. So once I get it back together and give it a general tidy up, fix the guard, put the carpet in, all that kind of stuff, I will take it for another drive again, maybe in the daytime and yeah, have a play with the boost controller. So maybe we'll get a skin in before the screen goes in, but at this point, I'm not really too fast. I just want to keep moving with the car and get it ready for the next track day. And uh, with a lot of, sound like a broken record but with a lot of house things going on at the moment don't have a lot of time to work on it and I've still got to get to the bottom of the cooling issue with the fan so I've got to pull the radiator out and do that at some point too so do have a new screen sitting in the bedroom um, I've actually ordered a strip of Meritant to go on it I'm going to do like a visor of Meritant which I reckon will look pretty trick so that's pretty much going to be it for this one guys I did want to uh, just give it a quick overview of how the cage sort of turned out uh, I think it turns out pretty good. I'll probably take some more shots, but it's um, yeah, pretty pretty chuffed considering I've never done it before, and it was definitely a big learning curve for myself. But it's uh, yeah, come out the other side looking pretty sweet. So 
that will be it for this one anyway sorry it's a pretty short one uh, basically just wanted to give an overview and trying to keep it as interesting as possible without filming all the uh, all the boring shit so as always thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you soon cheers see ya bye